Hi guys. Now, if you talk to most youths who have fled from the African continent to seek for greener pastures elsewhere, they put the blame on the system. I have listened to teachers who have fled from Africa to go and teach elsewhere or to go and work elsewhere. I have listened to nurses, I have listened to doctors, I have listened to so many professionals and regular people who have fled from the shores of Africa to go and seek for greener pastures. And whenever they are telling you why they fled, they don't fail to mention the system. The system here, the system in the educational system, the system in the hospitals, the system in the public sector, the system in the civil service, the system here, the system that. So I decided to do some little digging. What is this system that we are blaming for all our problems in most parts of Africa? Number one, according to the dictionary, Oxford, a system is a set of things working together as part of a mechanism or an interconnecting network or a complex whole for instance the state railway system and then two a system could also mean a set of principles or procedures according to which something is done or an organized scheme or method now this tells you that a system when we say the system is not working the systems in ghana are not working we are not only referring to the rules and the regulations that have been put in place by the state or the political actors or the people who have the power to implement them but it is a, a collection of things this includes systems that we have put in place by way of culture that we have instituted at certain places so i spoke to one of my former students just a few minutes ago now she has been unemployed for so many years despite completing university and she also put the blame on the system so i asked her which system are you talking about you see there is a system in place for instance let me give you an example there is a system in place that when you import items into the country ghana when you Im when you import or when you ship a container with a car coming into ghana or just any commodity at all anything coming in there's a system in place that you must pay a duty on the items you are bringing you must pay some tax so that the country can generate revenue yes okay so there's a system in place for instance that you must pay let's say 10 percent of the actual price of the product that you bought that's the system this is one part of what we call the system now apart from this there are some human beings at the port who are supposed to implement this particular regulation this particular bigger system they are supposed to implement it now these people we sometimes take them out of the system they are part of the system because an interconnecting network now the human beings over there are manipulating this particular rule and so when you come even if you are able to show genuine documents that i bought this car for two thousand dollars the human being who is sitting there who is also part of the system will just take his computer go online and check for the price of the car and make nonsense of whatever receipt you are holding and when he keys in that information he will say oh but online they are selling the car for ten thousand dollars and so you are going to pay ten percent of ten thousand dollars instead of ten percent of two thousand dollars that you have proof of so you see it is these people who are making the system corrupt and the system not work so if you refuse to pay 10 percent of ten thousand dollars in this case then your car will be confiscated and then your car will be auctioned and sold for five hundred dollars to somebody just look at this it is not the law it is not the system that we see but it is the people who are implementing the system who are these people these people who are implementing the system who are frustrating you and i are also Ghanaians like you and i let's put that aside there is somebody who is a headmistress or a headmaster of a school okay and they are charged with teaching kids they are charging illegal monies they are charging extra classes fees that are illegal and there are people at the circuit at the district at the regional and they are aware of all of these things and they all keep quiet these are regular people they are not politicians they are like you and i they have corrupted the system because of their attitude because they are part of the system go to the hospitals where people have to pay bribes before they are seen go to the, the teaching hospitals where sometimes when you do not pay a bribe you don't get a bed there is a system in place that never rejects any patient most parts of africa there's a system in place 
never reject any patient who come to seek for medical attention but you go there they will tell you there's no bed so go away people are treated on the floor people are treated on the benches meanwhile there's someone who is supposed to see to it that these are done who are these people they are not the politicians no they are not the ones we vote for they are people like you and i the interesting thing is that sometimes you and i will complain about these systems but when we are put there we fail to uphold our principles we fail to stand by our principles so a teacher is teaching in the system sorry that i'm using teachers because i have been a teacher for a very long time a teacher is teaching in the system he starts from set a or diploma teacher or a degree teacher he starts he rises through the ranks and after some years he's now made a circuit supervisor and the same things that he was complaining about he will be implementing the same things making the same mistakes and these people will rise through the ranks become a district supervisor become a regional head and then they will continue doing the same things that they used to complain about that's the problem so look instead of fleeing from the system instead of running away from the system the system is you and i we are the ones who are implementing these systems that we are running away from you have been tasked to employ someone and you are only interested in employing people who worship like you people who speak like you people who belong to the same religion with you people who belong to the same ethnicity as you you are interested in people who even belong to the same denomination with you you are supposed to see to it that someone is promoted but you hold on to it and you refuse to let that happen because of your own selfishness so it is not any system anywhere it is what you and i are doing how principled are you to stand for what is right and make sure that things happen so for those of us who are still in that so-called system let us do the right things and make sure that the next generation will have a reason to continue living in this system and they will not flee from it because as many of you as are living as many of them are coming so very soon in fact, we, they have built their system with their principles. We are interested. We go there and then we look down on our country. Very soon, they will come and take over from us. And then we will be begging to come back to our own country as strangers. It is already happening. Today, many people who are born Ghanaians left the shores of Ghana, left Africa to go and seek for greener pastures. And today, they need visas to visit their own country. Many people, it is happening to them without visas they cannot visit their own motherland and that is a shame and that is something that we need to work towards we need to work to correct this mess nobody can build africa for us no matter how bad the system is some of us need to remain and fix that system if people like kwame nkrumah julius nyerere patrice lumumba if people like this did not make sacrifices and come back to fix that same system that they were criticizing things would have remained the way they are and we would have still been in bondage thank you